Hey guys, what's going on? This is Hi Spot. And today, we're gonna talk about how to transfer your data from old iPhone to new iPhone. So if you just go from your old iPhone to your new iPhone and want to transfer all the data over, then this video is gonna show you how to transfer all data from one iPhone to another, like your photos, messages, contact info, and everything else you may need. Alright, first of all, I'm going to show you how to use the official tool Quick Start to move data from your old iPhone and set up the new iOS device quickly. If you've just unboxed your new iPhone, then you can try this way to quickly transfer everything from iPhone to iPhone. This works for many different iOS devices, and today I'm going to move my data files from this old iPhone to my new iPhone 13. If you're using other combination, this should work the same. Alright now, I just turn on this new iPhone 13 right here. You can see it's on the hello screen now. Quick Start is going to transfer data to a fresh, new iPhone only, so make sure your new iPhone is on the startup screen. And if not, I'm going to show how to reset your iPhone to this factory settings. And the resetting process will erase all the data on this device, so if your new iPhone has been in use for several days, and you don't want to lose any current data on it, then you can fast forward to the second method. The phone transfer from AppGeeker. I'll show you how to transfer data from iPhone to iPhone without reset. Alright, now, on this iPhone, from the home screen, we go to settings, and then tap general. Then from the bottom, we select transfer or reset iPhone, and follow the on-screen prompts to erase this iPhone. So now, I just skip the iCloud Restore and let it erase now. Alright, after the Apple logo flashing, this iPhone will be restored to the factory settings, and you can see the hello screen again. So now, we can keep going with the quick start to make data transfer from your current iPhone to this new iPhone. Alright, now, unlock your old iPhone and place the two iPhones near each other, just like this. and then start setting up the new iPhone now. Select the language and country, and you'll soon get this quick start screen. Then, here's a set up new iPhone screen on the source iPhone. This will let you set up your new iPhone with your current Apple ID. So now, tap continue to start. Wait for a second, and an animation will show up on your new iPhone, it's waiting for other iPhone. And as you can see, on your old iPhone, here's a pop-up. And what we're going to do now is to scan the animation on the new iPhone. So make sure you place the animation in this circle. Then you will see a message that says finish on new iPhone. And when prompted, here, we need to enter your current screen passcode in this new iPhone. Alright, now, we just follow the on-screen steps to set up the new iPhone. And when the transfer your data screen appears, you'll be given two options. And to transfer data from old iPhone to the new one, we just select the transfer from iPhone option. Then tap continue and let the data transfer begin. This is going to transfer all your previous data from the old iPhone to the new iPhone. It may take a while here. And if you've got lots of data on your old phone, it will surely take longer. Alright, now, the transfer is complete, so I just unlocked my new iPhone 13, and as you can see, all my previous iPhone photos are all migrated to this new iPhone now. They are all identical right now. So, Quick Start is really an easy way to transfer all data from iPhone to iPhone wirelessly. And just like I said, it will erase the target iPhone first if you've already set it up. If you don't want to reset your new iPhone to the factory settings, then keep watching, I'll show you how to transfer your data from iPhone to iPhone after setup. Alright, the second method I'm showing you now is an all-in-one solution, phone transfer. It can copy all of your content from one iPhone to another iPhone after setup, so that you don't have to factory reset your new iPhone. And in this method, we're gonna use a computer. 
It could be a Windows PC or a Mac. So now, step 1, let's get phone transfer first. You can easily find it from the appgeeker.com or just click the link in the description below this video. Alright, once installed, we just open it from the desktop. And from the interface, you can the WhatsApp transfer option. Yeah, it's also available to transfer your WhatsApp data between your two iPhones. And here's step number two. To make the data transfer from old iPhone to new iPhone, we're gonna select the phone transfer at the toolbar. All right, then you see this phone to phone option, so click it and it will go to the connection page. So now, as it shows, we're going to connect the source phone and the target phone. All right, so plug in the old iPhone first, and if asked, make sure to unlock your iPhone and allow it to trust this computer. Then for the new iPhone, we do the same. So, both connected now, and give it a few seconds to load all data files on the source iPhone. And later, it will display everything in this middle box. Here is the everything you can transfer from one iPhone to another iPhone. So the third and also the last step is to select what data files you want, and then click the start here to make the data transfer happen. Alright, I'm going to pick a couple of things here, you can choose whatever you want or just select them all. Then start the transfer. It's usually pretty quick since it transfers everything through your computer and the USB cables. So in this straightforward way, the previous data on your old iPhone will be moved to your new iPhone quickly. Just like you copy and paste something on your computer. All right, now, the progress bar runs to the end. And I just opened the same app on these two iPhones, and you can see, the images in the iPhone photos are all identical. It's exactly the same pictures from my old iPhone. So, phone transfer does make the whole data transfer much easier than ever before. I only need to connect my iPhones and select what data I want from one iPhone to another. It also works when you're trying to move data across Android and iOS devices. So it's really a good option to transfer data from one phone to another. Alright, thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you found it helpful. And please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends who might need it. And don't forget to subscribe to no more useful tips, and I'll see you next time.